Hi, this is Gareth Brown from Rich Games for Learning. The game I'm going to show you today is a simple addition game. It also looks at doubling numbers and counting on. It uses a deck of cards and a dice and also counters or something you can move around the board with. And it can be played with between two to four players. Alright, now the first thing you'll need to do is remove all the Jacks, Queens, Kings and Jokers from your deck. Alright, let's have a look. Once you've shuffled your cards, you need to place them down in this formation, face up. So it's just five across, five down the side and with a, a cross section in the middle. Each player starts on a corner, so I've got a green player here and a red player there. If you're going to play with three or four players, you'd have a player there and there as well. Alright, I'm green and I'm going to go first. So I roll the dice. One. Every time you roll, you get a choice of which way to go. So I've only rolled a one, I can either go on a seven or a ten. I'm going to choose the ten because it's the highest number. So I'll give myself ten points. Alright, so now it's the red player's turn. And red rolls a three. So they need to see where the highest number is that they can land on. They could go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. But it looks like 9 is the highest, so they're going to land on that. So they'll go 1, 2, 3, land on a 9, and give themselves 9 points. Now it's Green's turn again. And this time Green rolls a 2. I'm going to go 1, 2 because I can land on a 10. 1, 2. Now, as the kids score the game, they need to add their score as they go along. And they can do that by looking at their score, 10, and then counting on the number of symbols on the card they've landed on. So I might say, alright, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Rub out the 10 and write 20. And if they can add it together easily, then that's fine. But this is more for if they're still learning to add and, and how to count on. Right, red's turn again. Four. Now, when it's your turn, you have to go forwards only. You can't go one, two, three, four, for example. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and land on the 7, 7, 8, 9, oh, sorry, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Rub that out, and write a 16 there. Now the fun bonus part of this game is if you roll the dice, and you can land on the other player's square, or card, then you double that number. So, one, two, three, four. Let's say that I rolled a four as green. I could then go one, two, three, four. And instead of adding seven to my score, I double seven, which is 14, and then I add 14 to that score, which is 34. So that's just something extra for a bit of fun and learning how to double numbers. And the more players you play with, so if you have four players, then the more opportunity each player is going to have to land on one of the other player's cards. So this gives the players more opportunity to double up a card to get a higher score.